Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to use a synthetic electron 3D model to relocate our filament runout sensor on our Centauri Carbon. Here we have our model done printing, and let's take a look at this. We've already got one in this printer here, but we're going to use this in the right hand back corner to remount the sensor on the inside and affix it to the chassis. As I demonstrate how not to insert a heat set neural insert, let's talk about why someone might want to do this. And the primary reason is an internal spool holder, which allows you to reduce the overall footprint of your printer, as well as keep your filament drier while printing. All right, so now it looks like I've begun to sort out the heat set insert issue. Just let this be a demonstration to show you how easy it is to mess up. You know, heat, plastic, plastic melts, but you didn't know that, right? Anyway, it looks like I've had to, you know, fix it up a little bit, but that's all right because this is not a high torque application that we're, we've got here. All right, this looks pretty good, all things considered. We haven't yet covered how to pull the sensor off, but I'm going to test it here to make sure I didn't get the insert in too far with the short original screw. All right, slightly out of sequence here, but we are going to remove the sensor. You push in on the black part and pull the PTFE out. It's pretty simple. Of course, disconnect the wire and remove the single screw. It's fairly straightforward. All right, now we need to remove the zip tie, which is originally black, and we're going to remove the zip tie mount from behind the wire harness. And that's it, because that's where we're going to mount the new model, as you can see right here. There's that little recessed hole in the center, that's where the screw goes in, and it then screws into the location where that mount originally was. Installing this is a little bit tricky because of the restricted space. The poop chute is in the way unless you remove it and you'll probably need a shorter Allen wrench. Next, we install the sensor on the new mount. The sensor has that little swivel mount thing that it is on and there's a little tongue that fits into that slot in the front of the SE3D mount there. And you just seat it down and put the screw in the back. It's a little bit tight, so it may take a little time to get right. The angles are kind of awkward. Then you install the wire, and that's it, aside from tucking in the wire behind the mount there. All right, this is the best part. I'm kidding. It's actually pretty difficult sometimes if you have fat fingers like me. So... The easiest way to do this is to just remove the PTFE entirely from the extruder head like we did with the sensor earlier and then take it and fish it through from the other end like I'm doing here. Once you get it routed back up through the cable chain, leave it disconnected from the extruder head until you've worked out exactly how you want to uh, get it routed on the other end and insert it into the sensor. But once you've done so, then you can take it and zip tie it to the extruder head cable like I'm doing here. I should note that it just so happens I removed the fan assembly from the back of the printer for another mod and it does end up making this easier, but you don't have to do that. So just be aware. If you're going to use a zip tie like I'm doing here, just make sure you have enough slack on the sensor end of the PTFE before you actually cinch it down. Now, we're going to route the PTFE behind the poop chute lever here right next to the stepper motor and then insert it into the sensor. Then we're going to wrap things up literally by tucking the wire back into the sheath the wire harness and then putting a zip tie around it again. Come to think of it, the zip tie wraps up this tutorial as well. If you have any questions, comments, see any errors, please reach out. Let me know in the comments or on social media. 
If you found this useful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.